Obviously can't speak for the kids coming out of school nowadays. Who knows how they define interception and rescuing, to name a few. But when I was growing up, intercept meant to stop, deflect or interrupt the progress or intended course of. And rescue meant something along the lines of to cause to be free from danger, imprisonment, etc, etc. Bear that in mind when we go through the latest influx of bogus articles in relation to migrants coming over the English Channel. Under the watchful eye of French authorities, they've all managed to obtain fucking dinghies and life jackets from the invisible people smugglers. The narrative is identical to 2018 and the beginning of 2019, which I'll come to in due course. Huge rise in number of people trying to cross the English Channel by sea illegally. French officials have said that the more than 2,300 people were picked up last year, up from 586 in 2018. The number of people making desperate attempts to cross the channel by sea from France has quadrupled over the last year. Officials say almost 2,358 people were picked up in the channel. Picked up. That's a good one. And attempt, uh, attempting to reach the UK or swimming compared with 586. In total, in 2019, there were 261 crossings or attempted crossings, mostly by small, overloaded, overloaded sorry, inflatable craft or deaths. 55% of the attempts were unsuccessful. The most desperate attempted swim the channel, which is 20 miles across at its narrowest point. Tuesday, more than 40 migrants, including eight children, were intercepted in the channel by border force. And what happened to these people via said interception? Well, they weren't taken back to France, if that's what you're thinking. Of course not. Kind of defeats the purpose of an interception. Well, they weren't, they weren't prevented from getting to their destination. No, they were taken over here exclusively by the border force. It's almost as if that's what they set out to achieve. Here, the number of attempted crossings has soared, despite repeated warnings from the French authorities and migrant support organisations of the danger in the channel. And if people were that concerned about these people's safeties, then they would be taking measures to prevent these people from coming over again. But instead of that, oh, get the generic dangerous routine. Wouldn't be risking their neck or spending their hard-earned cash to get the smugglers if there was no reward at the end of it. Police in Cali, the port and port city where 95% of migrant boats set off from, said the action plan announced by the French interior minister in January of 2019 was working. <laughs> in the last year, 55% of the crossings had failed because of the strong mobilisation of French forces on land and sea. After meeting the British Home Secretary, Priti Patel, in August, the French interior minister, Christophe Castaner, said it was in both countries' interests to stop irregular crossings of the channel. You mean illegal migration? Office said patrols on French beaches have doubled and drones, specialist vehicles and detection equipment have been deployed to deter crossings. Measures haven't been put in place to stop these people. Nothing has been done for the ones that end up being intercepted. Oh no, cross their fingers and hope that the measures that they put in place deter the migrants from decided to make said crossing. Again, why would that put them off when they know fine well if they're able to be intercepted by the border force? The likelihood is they'll be able to stay within the UK after they make a false asylum claim. Perfect MP for Dover said that France needed to do more to stop boats setting off from its coast. Well, you could do a bit more on your end and deport them. Anyway, imminent departure from the EU is causing a surge in dangerous channel crossings, Immigration Officers Union warns. Where have we heard this before? January the 2nd, 2019. Why are there eyes in migrants crossing the English Channel? <laughs> their attempts are not unique. The number of migrants attempting to reach the UK by boat has grown over the past several months. Fears over Brexit could also be at play, experts have said. The looming spectre of Britain's withdrawal from the EU on March the 29th and the uncertainty it's creating may be giving people smugglers an avenue to exploit. People think the borders are going to change the smugglers, quote unquote, could be telling people that as a way of getting them to prop up the money. A two-year-old Iranian migrant living in the northern French coastal city of Dunkirk had told CNN earlier that year, once the UK had left Europe, he expected the crossing to get harder, but it wouldn't take much to make it harder than it currently is. After blaming Brexit in January 2019, seven months later, the migrants were at it again. A record number of migrant boats in the English Channel. January of 2019, traffickers were on a good thing. An MP warned that the channel crisis was much more than simply border security, noting that the exploitation of vulnerable people by 
criminal trafficking gangs and the inherent dangers of the voyages were also concerns, reiterating the urgent need for authorities to crack down on the people smugglers to avert a tragedy. We do expect the public to believe that these migrants are parting with their cash to these smugglers that are never ever caught who then in turn give them a dinghy and a life jacket. Who knows where these conniving smugglers store all these dinghies that's here nor there. But the point is, they want you to believe that these people are making a cushy profit from their little smuggling operations. Instead of aiding and abetting these people in their operations, why not put them out of fucking business? Sending the boats back. It take long for people to catch on to the fact that parting with their cash will just result in them being sent right back to where they started. These smugglers are only able to do what they're doing because you people are allowing them into the country. But of course the narrative in relation to smugglers and traffickers etc is a bunch of BS. The cover story for why they've all got light jackets and are all on dinghies. <laughs> it's the exact same narrative that they've been using since the refugee quote unquote crisis began. Everybody knows it's the NGOs but still they peddle the BS about traffickers and smugglers and the English Channel migrant narrative is no different in that regard. Or down or detour down memory lane. Cast your mind back to when this all started. Theresa May's Brexit deal will be voted on by MPs on December the 11th. Five days of having to listen to nothing other than MPs debate on every TV channel and every radio station, Theresa May decided to call off the vote. <laughs> in the proverbial shock and awe and outrage etc etc but behind the scenes what was going on at the exact same time united nations conference on the intergovernmental conference to adopt the global compact for safe orderly and regular migration in marrakesh held on december the 10th and 11th by sheer coincidence after this was covertly and quietly signed behind the scenes the migrants started coming over from cali hmm force boats deployed in the channel were there primarily to prevent the loss of life and did not necessarily deter would-be migrants said Mrs Morton. Well ain't that something. Once the vessels are in the water it's quite common for migrants on it to threaten their own lives if they're approached particularly by a French vessel. If they're approached by a British vessel they're quite happy. <laughs> oh they're happy that's something I suppose. Nothing shits on happiness quite like deportation but uh, hey that's just me.